Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tifa and today I'm going to show you my makeup tutorial for Vi from RK. You're hot. Cupcake. So first I start by clipping back the wig and I've done my foundation already, I'm just applying some more concealer to highlight the same sort of points that she has highlighted on her face as well, and to cover up any under eye bags or any other areas that I want to conceal. Using a beauty blender I just blend all of that out to try and create as smooth of a base as I can. After that I take a medium brown colour that's relative to my skin and I start to create some contouring. I start with the cheekbones and then I work around the jawline, trying to create those sharp angular shapes that all the arcane characters have in the series. I also include the nose in this so she has a very sharp nose in comparison to mine. bring this contour all the way up towards the eye and I also cover my eyelid with the same colour as the contour. I then contour under the lips as well just above the chin kind of area and I do the same down the neck to create kind of a cartoon effect that's similar to by in the Arcane series, so I create a similar kind of aesthetic and I try to contour the collarbones to create that angular look as well. Once those basic contour lines are done, I get a darker brown shade and I start to create more dimension over those lines so I follow the exact same contour that I just did just creating darker harsher shadows I really try to concentrate this contour around the jawline area as well as she has such a sharp jawline. I also take the darker colour and I bring it underneath my eyes as well and she does have quite dark area under there. I then take another brush and blend all of that out. Then using my fingers and a very light, almost white shade, I try to create a highlight on the nose and then I go back in with a little bit of contour on a brush. I bring a dark shade of eyeshadow into the eyelids on the edges and I just kind of blend it forward as well and then bring that back into the contour on the cheekbones and under the jawline. There'll be a lot of just kind of adding on colour and blending it out and continuously doing this in order to achieve this kind of angular shape. I then add some concealer on top to create highlights in these areas and I use a beauty blender to blend all of that out so it's not too over blended. I follow the same on the nose and on the cheekbones as well. And I go back over everything with a little bit more contour and using my ring finger I take an even darker almost black shade and I blend that into my eyeshadow as well. 
the point of Arcane is all these characters are quite messy and I tried to create Vi's look with this similar kind of thought in mind so her makeup is done quite messily as well which I think adds dimension to her character. I use the same trick over the nose as well just to create more definition. Then I blend it out with a lighter brown eyeshadow. Using that light colour again, I dab that onto the bridge of my nose and into the corners of my eyes. And then over the cheekbones as well. Then using a blending brush, I blend all of that together. I then use a eyebrow gel in a brown colour over my eyebrows. I try to make them as bushy and as kind of crazy as possible as well. Then using a lip crayon lipstick thing, I line my lips with that and I use it to draw where her scars are which are over her eyebrow and over the top lip. I somehow lost my white pencil, my white eyeliner pencil, which is what I would usually use for this. So instead, if you don't or can't find a white eyeliner, if you use um, a red lipstick and then kind of place over the top some concealer and some eyeshadow, you should be able to blend it out to kind of create a cut or scar effect, especially if you don't have any special effects makeup to create an actual three-dimensional scar. I do the same thing over my eyebrow and then I use a light colored eyeshadow that's almost white over the top of that as well. Then using an eyeliner I draw in a kind of black line and blend it out a little bit. Next, I use the eyeliner over my eyes, trying to create a very thin line on my eyelids and kind of a more darker line um, on the bottom lash line. Then I use a darker, almost black eyeshadow to create more dimension in all of those contours that we were doing before to create more of a cartoonish look and using a medium brown I just dot on a couple of freckles over her nose she has similar freckles to Jinx that aren't as prominent because uh, Vi is a little bit more suntanned and then I blend that out with a brush I then go over these and create smaller freckles with a eyeliner pen as well And then using some powder, I go over the top of these as well to try and blend them out and soften the look. Next, I draw two lines on my cheek where her cheek says Vi, V-I. So I like to draw the two lines first to make it easy and because this is quite angular, it's quite easy to do in a mirror. Just remember the V is closest to your nose. And then using some white eyeshadow, I just bring that down from the corners of my eyes to create that angular look that she has in the show. And then that's pretty much it. You're hot. Cupcake. This looked really great in photos and in some videos as well, so I was really happy with the way that this turned out. Obviously, you can add in the tattoos as well. I hope you enjoyed this video or learnt something I guess and let me know down below who your favorite character from Arcane is. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!